<laughs> I, I, when you look at when he was out of the lineup, mm -hmm. it looked like a totally different offensive team, even though Tyreek still did his due mm -hmm. when he needed to. Mm -hmm. And Tyreek's going to always be Tyreek. But the importance to the Miami Dolphins is the quarterback position. They've been trying to get that position right since Dan Marino. You were like two years old at the yeah. time, I think. So when you think about it, Tyreek Hill's going to touch the football, but who has to get him the football? Who has to get Jalen Wilder yeah. the football? The quarterback. And those other guys were not able to do that. No. They only won like one game, I think, when he was out. And then when we, but if you're looking at the same thing, to your point, when Dak Prescott was out, right? They only lost one. But but I think Dak Prescott's situation is a little bit different uh -huh. than Tua's situation. Tua has evolved. He has come a long way since then as a quarterback, very accurate and all those sort of things. It allows Tyreek Hill to catch the football, get down the field quick, fast, and hurry put those 122.7 yards mm -hmm. out there for display. Without him in the lineup, he's a different receiver, too. He's still dynamic, yeah. and he still can catch the football, but it just feels and looks different. Stephen A? Or not, Stephen Oh, there he goes. And for me, uh... it's Tyreek. For me, for me, for me, it's Tyreek. I, I firmly understand. I firmly understand the notion of Tua and him being the quarterback and how they looked without him. When Teddy Bridgewater was at the quarterback position, it wasn't the same. It was a clear, precipitous drop-off. There's no denying that. We understand that. But when I think about Tyreek Hill, I think about the guy that departed from Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes. I think about the guy that committed blasphemy, as far as I was concerned, when he talked about Tua and how he was more accurate than Patrick Mahomes. I'm thinking about that guy that tried to put, put uh, Tua on a pedestal and sort of big up him to some degree. And then I'm thinking about the guy that followed that up with 76 receptions for over 1,000 yards, and we're only halfway through the season. He's on course, on pace, to have a 2,000-yard receiving season. He is electrifying. And when you consider how, many, how often, although Tua is obviously a big-time deep passer, give him credit where credit is due, Okay, I will more than Keyshawn does because Keyshawn is allergic to short quarterbacks. The bottom line is this brother can fling it down the field. He's got that long-range passing game. We get all of that. But the flip side is, is that if there is one dude in the entire National Football League who stands out above the crowd that can turn a five-yard pass into taking it to the house, it's Tyreek Hill. And this is what he brings to the table, that level of explosiveness, the fact that you can just dip and dunk it to him right there, five yards out, three yards out, ten yards out, and he could take it to the house. I mean, this brother is something electrifying. He is a league MVP candidate. We know he probably won't get it. It'll probably go to the quarterbacks, but just like on the defensive side of the ball, we can look at Micah Parsons and talk about him. We can talk about Tyreek Hill on the offensive side of the ball as a wide receiver. He's that potent he's that damn scary and I think that helps immensely with Tua because on one hand you want to blitz him and get to him on another hand you want to drop back because you know he could just drop a screen pass to this brother and he'll take it to the house that kind of stuff happening I think is what separates Tyreek Hill this is really an impossible question for Keyshawn How Molly stop talking about me a what short quarterback and a short wide receiver. Why do you think I'm talking about it? I I didn't say no, that. No, no, no. I, I'm, ju I, I'm just kidding. I want to actually answer the question. Um, this is really hard because, uh, you know, the success of the Miami offense, it really has come as a product of all many pieces working together. Tua Tunga Bailoa playing at a high level. Um, you know, you talk about how the offense didn't look good without Tua and with Tyreek in, but we, of course, saw this offense with Tua and without Tyreek in preview, you know, before he arrived. I would also say Mike McDaniel has made – as just much of an impact on this team who we also saw this offense without him. And I think he's been a key figure. All three of those guys, Tua, McDaniel, and Tyreek, I actually think are almost equally responsible for the success of this unit. However, if you have to pick one person who has not only dominated the league, but has is perhaps the person you would choose from that trio, it would be Tyreek Hill because what he is doing this season, as Stephen A. outlined, mm, is historic. Mm, mm. We're talking about a guy who's on track to outpace Calvin Johnson. How can you not name him? And it completely affects the way defenses play Miami. They can't play man coverage against this team. It sets them up for those explosive runs that we see. Um, you just have to give him credit for what he's doing this season. At his age, it's unbelievable. Mina, let me ask you this, though, and Stephen A. So, if Tyreek Hill was to miss 
a few games, can you get the same sort of production out of Jalen Waddle? Honestly, no. yeah, it's pretty different. I mean, Keyshawn, when you watch these this this team and you watch the way defenses play them, it's the presence of both of those wide receivers that makes them impossible. And if you take out one of them, it becomes a lot easier. And we we saw this team with Jalen Waddle without Tyreek Hill. Yeah, but we also saw the team with Jalen Waddle without McDaniel as the coach. Yeah, right. That's what I was so, saying earlier. So, you, so what I'm seen... saying though, for a short period of time, I feel well, like if if Tyreek had to miss some time. Jalen Waddle to slide into that role, but if Tua is to miss, I feel like they're going to be in more trouble. That's why I think it, it, Tua's more important okay. to what they're doing, because we saw him without Tua. Now, we well, can say what we want to say. They did lose them games without him in the lineup. I as got soon as you. He came well, back, I guess what I'm they saying, like no, nope, They look like home run hitters as soon it, as he it, came back. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a couple of things I wanted to point out. Number one, I'm giving Tyreek Hill credit for Tua's exceptional play because he makes Tua look very good. It's not to say that Tua's not good. It's not, but I just think that Tyree, Tyreek yeah. elevates his level yeah. of play. But there's the other thing. With Waddle, we see a guy with breakaway speed. Watch this. It's a little thing that I pick up on. It's just me. Notice how Tyreek Hill catches a pass and then tries to flip around real quick and face you. You understand what I'm saying? You got guys that are just scared to run up on him and pop him no, because true. he's so elusive. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.